What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally gonna be able to finish up the white E46 wagon. In the last video you probably saw that we took off all the trim, repainted it, we put the new bumpers and side skirts on but we didn't put the trim back on because we wanted to do like a full detail. But today we're finally gonna do that full detail. I'm gonna have Giraffe explain what, we're, what exactly we're gonna be doing. The thing that needs to be addressed is the engine bay. It's super dirty and it has a lot of grimes in it and all the areas underneath all the trims and stuff. The wheel has to be addressed it too. And also some parts of the, uh, the interior, since it's being tan interior, has a lot of gunk from your like hands and your oil lotion and stuff. So it's stuck there. What I'm gonna be doing with this car is foam wash, uh, clay bar of course, and we'll do the paint correction. So we're gonna go ahead and just prep all the buckets, wash the wagon, get it all cleaned up, and then bring it in to do the full detailing and everything. Wash is done, and then now we're just gonna go ahead and dry everything off and then clay bar it. All right, so for the people who don't know, what does clay barring actually do to the car? So clay bar is the uh, a little pad or a little clay block that could remove all your contamination from the paint. If you come take a look a little closely, you can see all these dots. And then once you put your hands on it, see, like you could hear it. So you could hear it's like the roughness of the paint, and then when you feel it, it's like a little sandpaper but it's on the area that has been a clay bar already you can't really hear anything and you don't see anything see this is like super smooth so this is how the clay bar looks so we're just going to use the brand new piece for this one so this is a, uh, a medium type of clay bar so clay bar has like three different grades the first one is going to be like super aggressive for like the paint that is like has a lot of contaminants on it this is the uh, the medium which is very suitable for the paint right here and they have like a super fine type of clay bar for like a, you know, the car that has like small contaminants. But this one, you can break it in half. You can use one for like upper part of the body of the car and then the lower part of the body of the car. So you kind of want to separate that. Nice. So you kind of just keep rubbing the paint and eventually you'll get the contaminants off. You can kind of see right here, there's already like some browning. If you look at the clay bar, you can see like there's the contaminants already on it. Look at giraffe. Check this out. So this is a brand new clay bar part and I've just finished like a quarter of the hood. And you can see all the, uh, the paint that's kind of like the contaminants are falling down the car already. So like I said, this car is 17 years old. The paint, you can tell it has been like neglected and then I'll show you under the lights what you can see. Like this, so far you can't even see anything. But once you go under the light, you can see tons of swirls on it if the camera kind of like follow along. And the whole car, you know, just like this. So we finished polishing half of the hood because I want to show you the example of how is it going to be. So I show you guys 50-50. On the right side, you can see it's already polished and there's no swirls in there but if you look at the left side it's horrible but it's white car so it's really hard to see under like a daylight or something so you guys just need like a little flashlight like this to see the paint all right so we just got done polishing the whole car uh, we're just going to go ahead and start on the interior we have giraffe right here He's gonna be, whoa! He's gonna be cleaning up this black stuff off of the doors. So what we have is just the uh, interior cleaner and we're gonna try it with the uh, like little microfiber towel. And kinda like spray on it and then let it soak for like uh, 30 seconds, a minute or two, and then wipe it down. You need to clean this once in a while. It looks better that already. looks better already and we got that as well so that will be taken care of and then after we clean up the engine bay we're just gonna go ahead and wax the whole car and that that should be pretty much it for the exterior and then we're just gonna throw in all the trim so as you can see all this plastic trim is pretty like faded or doesn't look as black and so we're just gonna go ahead and use some light hyper dressing and clean it all up make it look almost brand new Yeah. 
You don't want it to be oily because oily stuff attracts to dust. So Drat's just doing the quick wax all over the car. And dude, honestly, like looking at the paint, it's in so much better condition. As you can saw, as you can tell in the video, it looks super swirly and it was just like dirty and dingy and we finally got around to like doing a full detail on it since we got it. And yeah, it looks so much better. Are you mad? Are you mad? No. So we're just uh, wiping off the wax right now. It feels so much better. I, you can't tell obviously, but like the paint's so soft compared to what it was before. So we have all the black trimmer here that we already repainted and then we're gonna put on. We just gotta like wipe it down really quick. But it's honestly, I feel like afterwards it's gonna look like a brand new car, huh? Look at this. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. Are you excited? Already. How excited huh? are you? One to ten? Ten. Ten? Hundred. Sorry. <laughs> We're definitely going to do a little shoot later on this evening and just take some good pictures while the car's still clean. Record me doing. You tell them what you're going to do. Just record me doing to, you know, what are you, down. What are you doing, Draft? What are you doing to the tires? Just tire shine. A little tire shine? I'm going to keep that glossy. A little tire shine don't hurt. Just a little. Don't put it too much because it's going to sling on your paint. And it's going to get the car even more dirty. Yay, sir. Two hours later. So we just kind of took a break, ate, showered up. It was just crazy hot today. So we're going to go shoot some pictures down the street. Uh, we're actually going to take both wagons. So we'll do a little photo shoot with that. And then, yeah. Right, we're at our little spot. Oh, the wagons look so nice together. Look at this. Oh yeah. These pictures are gonna look so good. We're just gonna go ahead and shoot really quick and then I'll post the pictures right here. pretty much it for this vlog we detailed the hell out of that white wagon and they, as you can see in the background it looks insanely good me and draft are both so happy how it turned out we have a little bit left to do as far as like little things here and there but we'll make separate videos for that but yeah appreciate you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video